turn of the evening. Uh, I'm very happy to be invited back again since my last visit, and I can definitely see that you know the quality of the speeches given today were really, really very impressive. Um, I would like to start by, first of all, you probably need to forgive me because it's going to okay, sound a little bit uh, not very organized because I simply just jot down okay, uh, things that I've heard and things that I need to remind you of. Now, the first thing I would like to point out is the fact that when you address to the uh, Toastmaster of the evening, out of a courtesy, you cannot say T-O-E. Okay? So please don't do that again. Don't just say T-O-E. You have to spell it out and say Toastmaster of the evening. Okay? That's just to show your uh, courtesy. I don't think it's very polite to simply uh, call that person, okay, the T-O-E. Don't use that acronym. All right. Uh, the first thing I would like to point out as the first thing that I heard tonight was somebody said, oh, it's very glad for me. And some people say, and at another occasion, okay, uh, someone said, it's, it's really creative, okay, of you. Now, pay attention to the fact that there are certain words that we don't use, um, uh, you know, after uh, the, uh, the it is. In other words, we would say, I'm very happy to do this, okay, it, uh, 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 someone is very creative, but we don't say it's very happy to, it's very happy for me too, or it's very creative for you too. That's incorrect to use. Please pay attention to that. All right. I heard someone said. Uh, I heard someone said. Okay. It's. It isn't seem to. Uh, uh, okay. Honored. Right. I think this person meant to say it doesn't seem so honored. It doesn't seem to be so honored. Okay. So pay attention to that. And then. Uh, uh, one expression, okay, uh, given by someone went like this: uh, value them, okay, as valuable. Okay, I think this person meant to say to think highly of someone or to regard highly of someone. Okay, all right. Uh, very often, Chinese people would say, "I think he he's not a good person," or "I think okay, this is not a good idea." Actually, in English, we tend to say we tend to use the negative in front for uh, more. In other words, you probably would say, I don't think it's a good idea, or I don't think I could do it. Okay, instead of saying, I think I cannot do it. it it's not wrong, okay, grammatically. It's just a way of, uh, you know, okay, uh, habitual use. All right, um, let's see. Um, all right, somebody says, participate in activity, right? What do we say? We say, participate in an activity, okay? All right. Uh, throughout tonight's speech, several people made such a mistake, like adding a T-H-E in front of someone's name. So the Brandon, okay, said that, or the something like that. So please, okay, do not use, um, you know, the in front of someone's name. All right, we don't say train uh, process. We, we call that the training process, all right? The training process, okay, is very different. All right, moving down to um, the speeches. Okay, uh, I think the first speaker talked about uh, a very interesting uh, co uh, uh, topic called uh, competitive advantages. Uh, but the first semester of the evening mistakenly okay, called that the comparative advantages. I think, okay, the topic was the okay, competitive uh, advantages, but that's not, uh, but that's okay. All right, when we say low, okay, what's the comparative for low? The comparative, the 比较级, lower. Okay, so what's the, the okay, the, 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 the compare, uh, okay, the 最高级 for, for, for low. Yeah, okay, so we say low, lower, lowest, but we don't say lowest, okay? So it's the lowest. All right, I noticed, okay, uh, Throughout tonight's speech, um, uh, throughout, uh, throughout tonight's session, there were two people who actually caught doing okay their speech. What do you do when you accidentally <coughs> cough okay during your speech? What do you do? You cannot do nothing. You have to say, "Excuse me." Okay, so please add that. Excuse me. All right. Don't do nothing. Don't say nothing. You have it's a courtesy. Okay, to say, <coughs> "Excuse me." Right. Uh, let's see. Um, 
many people, well, not many people, at least the two or three speakers use although and but, right? It's just very natural for us Taiwanese to say, okay, although and but. But everybody knows that it's a big taboo. You just don't, you cannot say that because grammatically it's incorrect to say although and but. So how do we say it? What's the correct way to say it? Next time when you want to say although, remember, no but, right? So how do you do it? You say although, still, okay? Use it, still. It's much, it's, it's much easier, all right? Because we just tend to say although but, okay, so naturally. So please pay attention to the fact that it's not allowed and then you can instead say although he's Although she's so beautiful, still, eh, um, I'm not so sure if she's my Miss Wright, something like that, okay? All right, let's see. Moving down to the softball, okay, session. It was a really very interesting, I know I'm going to, okay, go over time. All right, um, B-E-S-S, okay, Beth, how, how do you say your name? Okay, where did, where did you get this name? Well, my elementary English teacher gave me the See? You have to go back and blame your elementary school <laughs> because I'm not so sure if there is a name, okay, called B E S S. And think about, okay, the grammatical, um, the pronunciation rules that you have learned. If it is B E S S, okay, how do you pronounce it? Right? So it's supposed to be pronounced as Beth, right? But we know in English there is a name called B E T H. It's called Beth, right? Elizabeth. So we have Beth, but I, this is the first time I've heard a name, okay, as Beth. But the problem is, it's so interesting because you, okay, lovely Beth, talk about a topic on B-A-S-E, which is supposed to be pronounced as Beth. 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 So you see the difference in the pronunciation. So her name is Beth, okay, she talk about softball, softball, okay, and Baseball, so that's your base dream, but uh, you know, okay, um, it was not really clearly distinguished, okay, when you were pronouncing these words. Okay, so let's say, uh, let's see, you 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 said that, okay, you swept the ball, the bat, right? Okay, so swept, sweep, swept. So you sweep the bat. Do we say sweep the bat? I guess we say we sweep the floor. But we have to say we hit the bat, no? Or we strike the bat, it's sweet? It is, it is, we say sweet. You have to forgive me, okay? That's a totally a field that I'm not very familiar with. And then when it comes to be familiar with, somebody says family with, but it's not you, I'm sorry, okay? Oh. But somebody says, okay, familiar with. All right, should I go on or should I stop? Oh. Okay, I should go up. Okay, right? <laughs> what do I care? I'm not being judged. Okay, right? I have all the right to go over time. All right, let's see. Uh, we have already seen. We have already seen. Right? We have already seen. Okay. What kind of a speak? Uh, what kind of a specialty you want to? Okay, have. So the this okay the host okay in the variety session uh, gave this a question. By the way, this has to be the most complicated variety session that I have ever joined, okay? Because the questions are unbelievably long, and then by the time you understand the last part, you already forgot the first part. So my suggestion is that for the variety session uh, host, where's that? Where is he? Table topic. I'm sorry. Table topic session. Okay. All right. Oh, you did a very good job. I'm sure. Okay. Why you spend a lot of time, you know? Okay, trying to figure out what the best question is. I have to say, all the questions were really okay. Right. Very, very good and well thought out. The thing is, it's just simply too long. So how do you? I my suggestion is, if it has to be that long, they show the question on the PowerPoint slides. Right? They use that PowerPoint slides, okay, right, to help you and so that people doesn't have to only listen to you, even though you spoke very clearly, but they can also look at the PowerPoint slides, okay, right, and get a, a better understand what the question means. All right, okay, one, uh, moving down the next one. Somebody said that, uh, okay, to give me brave, to give me, I think this person means courage. Later.